Hi friends, welcome back to Welltech QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies. I am Vincent again at your service. In our last video, in this series, we have discussed about combined well symbols. In this part, we will try to learn about usage of multiple reference line multiple arrow lines, field well symbol, and weld all around symbol and its applications. So let us start. Let's move on. Now we will discuss about the multiple arrow lines. Okay, in the other one we have seen the multiple well symbols. Now let us see the same, almost the same concept will be shown in multiple arrow lines okay the two or more arrows may be used with a single reference reference line to point to locations where identical wells are specified means if either you have two reference lines and uh, uh, two well symbol to show the two different joints but it is not necessary if it is identical on both the side a single symbol but two arrow multiple arrow line two it can be two or three or four whatever if it is identical if the welding the well is identical same size same uh, type of weld then you can have the multiple arrow lines okay like in this case let us see how the how this multiple arrow lines are applied okay here you can see okay this well symbol fillet wells intermittent uh, fillet wells are there identically or it is shown on the multiple arrow lines here on this side and this side similarly the stud welding symbol all these three arrow lines this stud welding symbol is identical so they have given the multiple arrow lines instead of giving three different well symbols so a single symbol but multiple arrow lines okay now let us see the multiple reference lines what we have discussed now multiple arrow lines now we will discuss the multiple reference lines now previously we have seen that how the multiple well symbols can be placed here and below, above that another symbol similarly you can have multiple reference line so please remember multiple reference line like you can have one two three or four whatever you can have the operations the only thing what you should remember is the operation mentioned near to the arrow is to be done the first that is the first operation to be done near to the arrow then after that second operation the third operation okay let us see its application yeah the first operation is specified on the a reference line on the reference line near to the arrow okay whatever reference line is nearest to the arrow you have to consider that as a first operation then the second and the finally the farthest one is the third operation so let us see on this one so here is the arrow and this is the nearest to the arrow so on this this is a backing weld since this is shown as a first operation and also uh, because uh, it is nearest to the arrow this, this is the reference line which is nearest to the arrow so this is to be considered the first operation and this weld symbol is for a backing weld so what you have to do is here okay on the other side right other side of the arrow that is here that is here 
this one this is a backing weld as the first operation is done here okay and then second operation is a bevel groove weld yes this is a bevel groove weld after placing the backing weld here second operation you have done the bevel groove weld here and finally the third operation that is a fillet weld symbol on the aero side here okay that means here after completion of this groove weld here on that top of that you have to place the fillet weld so all the three operations the sequence of the three operations is very clear to you now how it is interpreted okay let us move on to the next here comes the field well symbol field well symbol means it is the kind of flag you know this is the field well symbol this is supplementary symbol this is not well symbol but it's a supplementary symbol this is also supplementary symbol. wherever you find this that means you have to do this job this welding at site or field at field means this is not made in the fabrication shop the the you are doing the assembly work and welding all those things will be done then you load the material to send to various sites and this particular welding where it is mentioned or shown that welding you need to be done at site that is the the interpretation of this symbol wherever you find this symbol that means that particular welding you have to do at site okay clear let us move on uh, okay here you can see the applications on various drawings you see here a beam okay a mezzanine beam is to be fabricated and this particular clay angle clay to be welded at site this is a field well symbol shown on this drawing that means this cleat this angle cleat to be welded at site 8 mm fillet weld to be done at site okay similarly you can see other symbols also here here you see this is a splice joint here shown splice joint means these pieces must be very long so very difficult to transport if it is more than 12 meter or so uh, so to reduce that difficulties they have made a joint this splice here and this splice will be splice joint will be welded at site that is the interpretation of this well symbol here you can see the field well symbol and the double v groove weld okay and on the tail tail side you have see some notes are also given c note 2 so on the drawing on the fabrication drawing that notes are given on a corner which is not shown here okay clear now you understood how the field well symbol to be used similarly another supplementary symbol is weld all around symbol okay now a continuous weld extending around a connected joint may be specified by a by addition of a weld all around symbol this circle okay this circle is shown at this junction so in this case there is a field weld symbol also that means this particular weld should be done all around of that particular part of that job all around of the part and to be well to be done at site because it is shown as field weld symbol but all around symbol okay in this case it is only there is no field weld symbol but showing an all around weld all around symbol 
okay wherever at this junction you find a circle like this that means you have to do that particular welding all around not necessary to show all the all the four side all all around you don't have to see separately a single symbol is enough weld all around same okay now let us see some applications like in this case here the weld all around, all around symbol is given that means here this is a either a round bar or a pipe okay and uh, in this pipe all around this pipe you have to do the welding this is a plate like this this one this is the one okay this is a round bar and this is the plate and you have to do the welding all around that is the symbol okay a bevel groove weld and on top of that a fillet weld so this is to be done all around similarly here okay here you have to do by mentioning this particular symbol you should understand this is to be done all around similarly here it is simply shown on a point it's all around well but you have to do the welding all around this beam okay clear similarly here also you can see okay this is probably a hollow section and this is plate and you have to do the welding all around the hollow section all the four side okay okay friends in the next video we will be bringing the rest of the series uh, that is finishing symbols melt through symbols back or backing weld symbols and more until then goodbye thanks for watching see you in the next